Hi, I'm Steve Hindy with Shark, showing animals respect and kindness. I'm standing in front of the uh, barracks, the Hamburg barracks of the Pennsylvania State Police this morning. Um, a few days ago, there was a pigeon shoot. Last Sunday, what was that, the 14th, there was a pigeon shoot. And today is Thursday. Uh, there was a, a horrific pigeon shoot at a, at a place called Wing Point. It's uh, supposed to be a luxury resort for animal serial killers. They take cage-raised animals and they put them out in a field and guys, and, and guys with uh, apparently under-endowed males mainly and, and some equally under-endowed females come in and blast these animals. And last Sunday they held a pigeon shoot where they don't even put them in a field, they put them into a little box. The birds are literally propelled up into the air and they shoot them down. We then found a dead pile. We found the club's dead pile, this massive mound of pigeons, a number of which were still alive. We made three trips there, and every time we found a live animal. We then brought that information to the Hamburg barracks of the Pennsylvania State Police, where Michael J. Brownmiller, Sergeant Michael J. Brownmiller is the commanding officer. A humane agent, a humane police officer for the Pennsylvania, for, for the state of Pennsylvania came in. I was with her. She explained the situation to the officer. The officer blew her off. Now she, she has authority from the state. They have the ability to quickly uh, get a, a search warrant so that they can secure this scene. So that injured birds could be uh, rescued and cared for. Or at least humanely put out of their misery so that um, the banded birds, the numerous banded birds that were filmed on, on the site, so that, that's illegal to shoot banded birds. Those birds are owned and it's illegal to shoot them. That was a crime. And then there was the incredible stench and filth of this maggot infested pile, the disease that it, it is going on there. And there was a house just a very short distance away down a hill so that the rain when the rain would come in, the rain water's washing down into these people's uh, area, into the drinking water, all this kind of really rotten crap going on. We bring this to the Pennsylvania State Police, the Hamburg Barracks, where Michael J. Brownmiller, Sergeant Michael J. Brownmiller is the commanding officer, and he won't do a thing, nothing. That's how it works in Pennsylvania. Now the Pennsylvania, you know, the state police of any state are supposed to be the cream of the crop. They're supposed to be the best of the best. And here you've got a guy, Sergeant Michael J. Brownmiller, who will do nothing. And that tells you the story about Pennsylvania, a state where the governor will do nothing. Governor Rendell, Governor Ed Rendell. You see him all over on MSNBC and other stations talking about how the Democrats and how the country should run and all this kind of thing. And this guy won't deal with the corrupt rot in his own state. Then you've got uh, Corbett. What's his name? Tom. Tom Corbett, the Attorney General, NRA-backed, Republican, and, and incoming governor. He's just been elected governor. He'll be coming in in a, in a couple of months won't do a thing. There's existing humane laws to deal with all, uh, with the, the, the pigeon shoots and of course laws existing to deal with the environmental situation and, and so on. Won't do a thing. It's on both sides of the aisle. We're not playing favorites here. It's the Republicans. It's the Democrats. They're all corrupt. The police are corrupt. The district attorney, John Adams, Berks County District Attorney. We were at his office yesterday. We brought him the complaint, explained everything. They said they'd get back to us in three or four weeks. Three or four weeks. I don't think the birds are going to make it that long. I'm not sure how well the neighbor's going to do with all that crap running down into his water and into his property. You can drive through it and it may look pretty, but you start dealing with the corruption and the cruelty and the cowardice in this state, it don't get no uglier. Now, we're all about equal, about being fair here. So I'm gonna walk into this office right now and I'm gonna invite Sergeant Brownmiller to come out here and speak in his own defense. If he's not here, or if the cat's got his tongue, we're gonna invite anybody who wants to come in, to, to come on out and talk to you and explain to you why what happened happened. 
They can say anything they want. They can take as long as they want to say it. And I'm going to bet you, I'm going to bet you my right hand that nobody's coming out with me. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Sergeant Brown Miller will not come out. We had a conversation. I'm not going to speak for him, but I repeatedly invited him out. I urged him to come out. I told him we would put up every word unedited, no matter how much he had to say, and he wouldn't come out. And that says it all. That says it all. We're here, he's not. It's his barracks. We're here, he's not. These are some sorry, sorry, sorry people. This is Steve Hindy for showing animals respect and kindness in front of the Pennsylvania State Police Hamburg Barracks Commanding Officer Sergeant Michael J. Brownmiller.